What's happening guys, it's Gathalion, and welcome to episode number 8 of my Borderlands 2 Ultimate Vault Hunter Mode Overpower Plus 8. Let's play with my melee ninja, Assassin. And that again, is the longest intro to any video in the history of ever. Today we headed out to the, uh, the Wildlife Exploitation Preserve and did battle with stalkers and loaders and badass stalkers and we ran into uh, Pumba and Timon or Toomba and Pomone. It's Pomone and Toomba, that's what it is. I always get their names mixed up because goddamn Disney cartoons are stuck in my head because I have two little girls and it never ends. It doesn't ever, ever, ever end. But I love me some Disney. I can't even lie. I am a big fucking child. Anyways, so this episode I got snuck up on by Ultimate Badass Loaders and killed myself with grenades a couple times because I'm fucking awful. Slash grenades are bastards. Uh, we played with physics effects on because I get asked a lot whether I'm playing on PC or PS3 or Xbox and you know I, I don't know how PS3 gets thrown in there because I have the Xbox prompts because I play with a gamepad um, I find that gamepad tends to be a bit smoother for melee gameplay and it just it, it's more comfortable I, I sit on a couch when I'm playing Borderlands 2 my PC is hooked up to a big screen TV and that's that's just the way I, I like it um, so yeah, I turned on Physex to avoid any further confusion, though I feel like even still I will be asked, Hey Goth, uh, are you playing on Xbox? And while I do have it on Xbox, I find it generally not as playable because I am so used to playing with well over 100 frames per second, and the average of 30 just feels um, painful to me after being used to it. Uh, people that play on Xbox and PlayStation don't really notice it that much because they're so used to the frame rates, but as a PC player, and you can ask any other PC player, uh, those frame rates are way too noticeable. Um, anyways, so we went through and I, I went over uh, the delicacies of taking on Bloodwing uh, as a melee assassin because I don't know if you guys have played with a melee assassin but it's really easy to accidentally kill Bloodwing and when you accidentally kill Bloodwing it glitches him the fuck out and it pretty much breaks your quest and you have to reload the game and run all the way through the exploitation preserve again and refight Bloodwing and rewin and that's that's pretty much it I managed to not kill him in two hits which I've had trouble with in the past so yeah guys, this has been a quick look at the OP plus 8 Ultimate Volt Hunter mode. Let's play with my Melee Ninja Assassin, longest outro name ever. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time in the quick look.